Welcome back. Time now for a check on our weather forecast. John Elliott standing by with your forecast. And John, this is a good one, especially with the weekend fast approaching and so many of the last few weekends have been such a disaster. <laughs> I wouldn't say this weekend's going to be a disaster. I think Saturday no, is going to be great. No, yeah, 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 yeah. But there might be a little hint of rain on yeah, Sunday. Right. We'll show you one of the long range models. You know, and every time we look outside, it's like, oh, it looks like it's hazy. Just check the air quality. Air quality is still good. And you know what? We are still feeling good as well. 64, will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? It's years from now, by the way. Winds out of the southwest at 11. <laughs> I saw that. Big Ridge still serving up these numbers 10 to 20 degrees above normal. Wow. So tomorrow's going to be the warmest day right through Saturday. Just want to give you the heads up. By next week, we're 10 degrees below normal. So it's going to be, talk about a wild ride. Thursday's probably our best chance for tying or maybe breaking a record. Big view on two shows some moisture aloft, but it's having a hard time finding Sullivan County. And you've got a, a, a lot of moisture. It's going to be like 90 to 95 for parts of Texas, so they could see some more thunderstorm activity. No kind of dynamic like that in our area. The European is a long range model, so you lose a little bit in the way of clarity as you go day after day after day. Some of the models are hinting at a little bit of fog Friday morning. Then Friday shapes up, warms up to Saturday, nice. And then by Sunday, this front, it's kind of lazy. So the European is really slowing it down. Now watch what happens Monday, Sunday into Monday. That's when we see a better chance for some rain. And there's cold air behind it. So that's when you're going to see the real drop. So the kids, remember, plan on about 50 for trick-or-treating temps. Hey, uh, you know what? Even though we're talking Halloween, we are not done with the hurricane season in the Atlantic or the Pacific. This is Tammy. Tammy, very well defined and on the, on the move now. Winds at 105, moving northeast at 13. Still no major threat as it makes the move. But have you heard about Otis? Otis was a storm and then a Cat 5 hurricane overnight. Just amazing. Uh, rapid intensification with this storm, and it's weakening. Obviously, that is the course of the way this works over land. Right now, winds at 80 miles an hour after reaching Category 5 status. Uh, in our area, for the weekend, Saturday is still the better of the two. Just look at this, a 10-degree drop from Saturday to Sunday. And then, wait, there's more. First part of next week, it's even colder. There's another 10 degree drop from Sunday to Tuesday, then there's another five degree drop. So just plan on, I mean, November 1's gonna come in feeling like November 1. Till then, yeah, I'll see you outside. I mean, it is shorts and t-shirts, 77 to wrap up the week. Chris? Love it, Johnny, thank you so much.